What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 5. Do I not sound that excited? Well, as you can see, I got nothing on! I was doing a vault run off camera, uh, a skeleton set off a bunch of TNT around me, and I died. And when you die in the vault, you die in real life. I mean, you lose everything, there's no getting it back. So luckily during the vault runs, I mean, I have a legging and a helmet. That's a good start. But yeah, I'll be doing some grinding to get everything back. Sad CWG noises. Hey Code! As you know, I uh, I died on my most recent vault. If I would have had a totem, it would have saved me. What did you just throw? <laughs> a lily pad, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so over there is a pillager outpost. So we're gonna make one of those quick, dirty, cheap raid farms. Get some totems. Yeah, we gotta have something. We gotta have these totems. Cause like, I know I'm gonna get in there and I'm going to die. <laughs> so I think the totem is our, our easiest way out when it comes to uh, surviving some of these vaults because ugh, you know how that goes sometimes yeah so we're gonna build a raid farm and we'll be right back and we're back and the quick and dirty raid farm is complete it's really this simple to make a raid farm well we just want totems so basically inside that box is a villager and a bed so therefore there's technically a village so all i have to do is get bad omen from the outpost over there come over here and then all the raid mobs will spawn try to get to that village and they'll be pushed into the water stream in which in the very center is a drop shoot where they'll die from fall damage and the hopper will pick up the totems. Also, this lava source right here will kill the ravagers because they try to swim up it because they're dumb. Also, we were having issues with raid mobs spawning down the hill, so we flooded all the sides of the hills in which the raid boys were spawning down. So hopefully we won't be running into that issue anymore. Let's go ahead and get some bad omen. There we go. We got a banner man. Let's snipe him from the roof. Oi, stop moving. There we go. We got our bad omen. Let's go ahead and trigger the raid. So by flying over here, it should trigger it. There we go. Now we just have to land in here. Okay, quickly drop down the chute. Wee! And we just hang out down here while the mobs fall to their death. As you can see, we get the occasional saddle and some drops from the witches. Other than that, we just chill and wait. One raider remaining. And there he goes, next wave. And a little bit of time later, we get Hero of the Village and five totems, not bad. Yeah, this is a quick and easy setup you can build on your own survival world. All right, so we're gonna be doing another cooperative vault run. Rob here is our <laughs> vault captain. He has the vault crystal, yeah. look at him. Captain, yeah. I salute you. I don't have a netherite sword Sorry. anymore, but I think I'll be fine. I don't have a netherite anything. And also guys, this time I have not one, but two totem so there shouldn't be any more dying in these vaults no excuses okay no, so we got a corporate vault with afterlife uh very oh, important very important very important um because with the corporate ones i feel like <laughs> there's a lot more chance of one of us dying yes. yeah yeah exactly. are you all ready i'm Always ready. ready let me just make sure i got my potions because i forgot them last time yeah <laughs> that was <laughs> i'm actually genuinely i did a duty badly but um What's the best? Oh god. Oh, trap, such a trap. Speedy, 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 unlucky. unlucky. This is terrible. Found another obelisk. Okay. We need? okay, so we only need one more. One okay. more triggers the boss. But I think we should probably uh. concentrate on the boss if we can. Because everything seems to be trapped. Yeah. Yeah, we just want to say screw it and fight the boss. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's clear out as many mobs as we can first. Okay. Shoot. I'm ready if you guys want to do it. Uh, All right. Maybe, uh, all right, power uh. bars in the hot bar, splash potion. Yep. Ready? Let's do it. I'm ready. Eat the power bar. Go. Click it. Oh, it's a boogie man. All right, you just have to take it. What does it do? Take it. Just fight it. He, he just does a lot of damage. Ooh. Ooh. Remember, if you don't hit it, it's going to heal. You don't want it to heal. Woohoo! Okay, we got it. Dude, Whoa! Oh, oh. oh Creeper. I forgot any Creeper. more healing potions. Ah. Is he gone? Uh -huh. Is he gone? Teleported. Is he gone for me? Oh, probably because I activated it. Uh, this one. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, that's one totem. Give me healing potions! Oh god, he's, he's definitely healing up quickly. Yeah, we don't hit him for a bit. He does that. Did someone pick up my lime shulker? My healing? I think someone did. I don't know. I'm just hitting the big creature. Hit it! Oh. <laughs> it does so much damage. 
Oh. Ah, there's a witch. Seriously, oh. where are you? Oh. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yes! Yay! Yes. You got it. Oh, there is three boss crates. Oh, oh, nice. I got two. Yeah, I got one. Just... That was good, guys. That I got was some boogie, man. Yeah, one. we popped one of my totems. All right, guys, we did it. We did it as a team. We took out that boss, even though it was targeting me, and it was chewing through my armor. This netherite armor doesn't do anything against the boogie man. He's strong. All right, so here is the loot we got. Ooh, protection for unbreaking three mending chest plate. That's actually better than this one because it has unbreaking. So let's put it on. Next, we got a turtle egg. Nice, we got a gifter statue. This one gives us dirt. Nice. And a bunch of other stuff. Ooh, golem apple. That's good for fighting bosses. So that is a nice find. And other loot that we got. We got some relic booster packs. Let's open these. Gives us nothing. Oh, we're almost level 17. We do have two vault cookies, so that'll bring us over the edge. Oh, wait. I got a totem. Oh, I must have clicked it in the crate on accident. Oops. Let's go ahead and eat a cookie. Boom. Level 17. I hope Code heard that. So we now have four unspent skill points. We just need one more skill point and we can get step, baby. I did a vault run off camera and we are finally at level 18, meaning we have five unspent skill points, which is the moment we've all been waiting for. We can now learn step. So let's see how good it is. Let's try to run up these blocks. Oh yeah, you just run straight up them. You don't even have to worry about it anymore. Oh, that's so nice. Zombie, what are you doing in there? You just chilling? Die. But yeah, this is gonna make navigating the vault so much easier when you can just pop up up these blocks instantly. A message you never want to see on your Discord as a YouTuber is you may want to record when you log in. I think Rob might have gotten his revenge. Restart your game? What the heck? I logged in on a bit of, I'm, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. What, what, what is happening? Why am I in a hole? Why am I in a cave? What? 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 My floor? What? What? My floor's gone. Why? Oh, I'm glad I survived that. Jeez. I could have been a goner. There was lava down there. Rob's trying to kill me. Ow. 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 Water bucket clutch. Woohoo. What is happening? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Can I fly out of here? Probably not. Uh. There's too many skeletons. I can't even see, it's too dark. I don't have any of my totems on me, so let me just try to pillar up and hopefully I don't get knocked off again. Oh, nope, nope. Where is that skeleton? I can't see anything. To be fair, I do kind of think I deserve this. All right, I can see the top. We're almost there. What the heck? Ah, no, baby zombie, where? Ow, go away, go away, go away. Oh, jeez. All right, we're almost to the top. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Hopefully there's no skeletons. And we're here, woohoo. Yep, I definitely have no floor anymore. Hey, at least he left the sofa in place. I have no idea how Rob managed to pull this off. TNT maybe? But he somehow didn't break anything else. <laughs> You guys are gonna have to check out Rob's video to see how he pulled this off, because I have no idea. I'm just gonna work on replacing the floor, and I'll be right back. And just like that, the floor is back in place. Let's just pretend like there's not a massive hole of death underneath here. So I thought of a way we could prank Rob back. There is a block called the speaker that I renamed to Rob's username, which is DJRPB. Now what's cool about this thing is if you right click it, you can actually send a message into the chat with a certain range. Anyone within 64 blocks will get this chat message. And since I renamed it to Rob's username, it's gonna make it look like Rob is saying something in the chat. So now we just have to find Rob. Oh, he's in his house. This is perfect. Now we pretend to be Rob. Let's send a message like, How do you craft a furnace? And we'll send it. <laughs> and Rob's gonna think that he's saying this, but he's gonna be so confused. Fuzzy's also online, but since he's not in the 64 block radius, he doesn't see the messages. I'll make it say, I didn't fight the boss. I was too chicken. <laughs> Wait, where did he go? Oh, he ran, he said, how are you doing this? I'm gonna say, doing what? <laughs> well, Rob just went into the vault, so let's go mess with Fuzzy. Let's rename the speaker to Hero Bride and see if we can scare him. I think Fuzzy's at his house, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Oh no, Fuzzy is over, where is he? Oh, he's chopping dark oak trees, interesting. Just get ourselves perched over here. I'll just make it say, I'm watching you. Hero Bride, I'm watching you. <laughs> I can smell your fear. That's a fart. 
Fuzzy, I couldn't help but notice that you said something about a fart in the chat. I fart pumpkins. <laughs> oh, that's right. That was the name of your episode. <laughs> Have you been getting any suspicious messages? Yeah, that's just some Rob guy and some Harold Brian guy. Just, you know, the usual. I just like the voices in my head. I just ignore them. Ah, that's just normal. Okay. Nah. Have you been getting any suspicious messages? Maybe. Or maybe it's this thing! Ah, it's behind you. Look, it's a speaker block. You can put chat messages in for a certain radius. <laughs> oh. And you can rename it in an anvil to, like, change the name of who says it. Ah. Yeah, that's the... So I'm not going insane? Well, you are, but... <laughs> I just figured I'd show you that. I did it to Rob, too, and he was quite confused. To be honest, it's really easy to confuse both me and Rob, so... <laughs> Alright guys, so this is what we're gonna do. We have an observer clock where we can place this down, put in a message, and it just spams the chat. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Let's go put this above Rob's base for revenge. We're gonna go right to the back of his roof and set it up. It'll just be Hero Bride saying, I'm watching you. And there we go, every time he's at his base, he's gonna get that spammed in the chat. Now, what's the radius on this thing? If I like fly to my base it should stop I think yeah you can see the chat clears and every time you fly close to Rob's base yep it just says I'm watching you that's hilarious so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of all hunters SP remember I have a community discord you can join link in the description what do you guys think of the prank let me know in the comments CWG out